25 years of peaceful reign in Asantima and beyond, as Otunfu was said to the second, celebrates a silver jubilee as the 16th occupant of the golden stool. The celebration at Menshia Palace in Kumase attracted people from different backgrounds to experience the rich culture and tradition. But let's try to find out who the man was said to do the second is and what legacy he is living. Born Barry Makwe Kudua on May 6, 1950, Otunfo said to do the second is the youngest of five children of the later Santima Nanefua Kobisewa Ampim the second. He succeeded his brother Otunfo Opokuari the second in April 1999. To become the 16th occupant of the golden stool. His upbringing was steeped in Asante tradition and statecraft, guided by his uncle, Ohineba Mensa Bonsu, who carefully groomed him for the responsibilities that awaited him. Since assuming the mantle of Asantene, Otun Fortech to the second reign has been characterized by commitment to peace, reconciliation, and progress. Now, if you look back, the two previous transitions, Anytime there was conflict, he stood between them and ensured that there was a peaceful transition. Even in government, anytime there's disagreement between leaders, they run to him and he's able to bring calm. He has been a pillar of peace in Ghana. He symbolizes um, unity, oneness, and um, bringing the Ashanti kingdom back to its uh, heights again. For me, as the Minister for Chieftaincy, he's been a pillar. Um, he guides me with a lot of wisdom, which I've learned from him. But he also comes uh, handy when I have problems with Chieftaincy disputes. One of his first tasks was to encourage his people to seek the path of arbitration instead of litigation in numerous land and succession disputes that have plagued Asantima for decades. Oshe. He was instrumental in resolving the long-standing Dagon crisis, which claimed several lives and destroyed livelihoods. Beyond his role as a traditional leader, Otunfo is a beacon of philanthropy and education. Thousands of students have enjoyed access to quality education under the Otunfo Education Fund. Uh, for the youth, we see him as a uh, a picture of inspiration. We inspires hope into us. Because of the educational fund he has brought, a lot of us believe that we still have leaders in Ghana who can make impact for the next generation to benefit out of it. Leadership styles uh, inspire we the young generation uh, as a whole because uh, the way he takes certain decisions. Yes. His dedication to see an improved and quality health care made him initiate the Hill Confanochi project which sought to mobilize $10 million to give the second largest hospital in the country a major facelift. After years of extensive engagement with the British, they agreed to return some of the artifacts they looted from the Ashanti Kingdom during the Sagranti War. The looted artifacts are finally back to their original place. They are currently on display here at the Menshia Palace Museum.
as the Asante Ini celebrates his 74th birthday and Silver Jubilee on the Golden Stool. His legacy resonates not only with the Asante Kingdom, but across the globe. A testament to his enduring impact on culture, governance, and humanity. Political heads, traditional leaders, and royalty from Ghana and beyond joined Asante Ini at the Menshia Palace to celebrate the Akwesidae to climb as the Silver Jubilee. Ibrahim Abubakar, TV3 News, Menshia Palace.